Hello friends, long time no see. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm into my fourth week of recovery and I'm feeling a little better each day, a little stronger each day. Um, I wanted to make a quick video about state-sponsored racism in Canada. Uh, I was in a discussion board recently and somebody had posted that there was a gentleman who was, um, you know, behaving inappropriately, illegally, actually. And um, I made the comment that it could be the result of uh, Trudeau's immigration policy. He had visual cues. You could tell the giveaway was the um, neck covering that he had. It wasn't a style that, you know, Native Canadians would would use. He had a, this camo military fatigue style clothing as well. Anyway, it's not important. The fact of the matter is to see the amount of hate that jumped out at me as soon as I mentioned that the person may be an immigrant. I said he was either mentally ill or immigrant, actually, uh, when I expanded on my thought. And they jumped all over that. And it was interesting to see that the comments that came out were racist comments towards Caucasians. And so I had not made any racist comments whatsoever. But the feedback that came back from this public discussion forum was quite remarkable. And I can see that it's the result of the indoctrination program that is active in Canada. You could see the terms that they were using to malign myself. And um, they called me a colonizer and they um, made racist slurs against Caucasian. And they, you know, take your pick and uh, so on and so forth. And, um, oh, yes, and they kept using the term uh, POC, people of color, right, saying that I was racist and so on. And so I thought about that and I was like, wow, look at look at the effect of the state sponsored racist training that is going on in Canada today. What's happening is that in the education system, the globalist forces are sponsoring, endorsing the indoctrination of uh, the, the next generation and teaching them that the one of the phrases that they use, they said, it's impossible to be racist against white people. This is what they're taught. And they're taught that from government funded organizations, anti-hate organizations, civil liberty organizations, which receive government funding to promote racism towards Caucasians. And, um, the, there's a video that I, I want to share with you by Richard Gannon, and he can explain it a lot better than I can about the uh, state-sponsored programs that are endorsing this way of thinking. And so you have a whole new generation of people, a whole group of people that are playing this game, as Richard Gannon calls it, is find the racist. And so they're playing this game and they're out there searching and they, and if they find somebody, ah, and even one person said, you tick all the boxes, they said. And I thought that was funny because the only box that they ticked was the fact that my picture shows that I'm Caucasian. So they obviously ticked that box and said, ah, I found a racist. And so they can, you know, go ahead and spew their, their, uh, their hatred. Which is really quite sad. Uh, the point I was trying to make in my post was that uh, the current uh, Trudeau government uh, has plans to um, uh, bring in as many uh, new Canadians as possible. And um, there is no guideline as to what the uh, qualification process will be. And so you can see that that can destabilize the society. It can cause civil unrest and it can cause all sorts of conflict which is exactly what the government wants to achieve. They want to create as much conflict as possible. And I'll leave it for Richard to explain, but it's this type of new feudalism that they want to introduce. You have the group of elites. They don't worry about the effect of what's going on in the country uh, of, you know, you see what's happening in BC. They don't worry about tent cities because they're living in gated communities. So you have this feudalism that's being reintroduced where you have the elites living in gated communities, elite atmospheres with their yachts and their summer homes and all that kind of stuff. They have no interest in 
the peasantry. Now, I disagree a little bit. Again, it says that the, the peasantry will be living in a form of communism. That may be true, but I, I don't believe that that will happen. I believe it will be more a form of anarchy, a more of peasantry for the, the plebs uh, at the lower level because um, the society will break down with the efforts of uh, the, rule, the, the, the politicals who are in, in charge of destabilizing uh, the uh, civilian population. And so we're seeing that today. What's the, what's the only solution? The solution is homeschooling. Get out of that system because that system now has been completely taken over. There, are, there is no opportunity uh, for anybody in any type of government-related position unless they sign on to the globalist agenda, the woke agenda. The, anybody that gets a job within a school board, a library, a government position has to support those types of programs. They have to support racism towards Caucasians. They have to support, um, uh, you know, uh, woke ideology. They have to support uh, the, the teaching of children that the gender that they're born with is not their correct gender. This is a big push that they're doing because they do not want the incumbent population to reproduce. They, all they want to do is bring in uh, people from overseas that have the potential to de destabilize uh, the uh, civilian population, right? So this has been ongoing for many, many years. In fact, I faced it when I graduated from university in 1982. Um, I applied for a government position, believe it or not, because they had these big, huge ads. They said, come work. You can get a job working in a Canadian embassy overseas. You get to travel, you get to do all this stuff. And when I applied, they said, uh, unfortunately, we have this thing now. It's called affirmative action. Unless you're native, you cannot work for the government. And I was, I have native blood in me, but they said, oh, you have to be a status native. You, If you don't have your status, that's it. Don't bother applying. So I didn't bother applying. Uh, a little a little while later, a short time later, I applied for a top Fortune 500 company, and um, I was selected amongst, uh, uh, there was four or five other candidates and myself. The other candidates were all uh, from um, East Indian countries, and I was there. They said that I scored the highest they ever had on their aptitude test. They give you this aptitude test, and um, kind of like intelligent test. They said they've never had anyone score higher, but unfortunately, we're doing this affirmative action. That's what it was called back then, affirmative action. And um, unfortunately, we can't hire you. We wish we could. And so same thing. So I didn't think anything of it. I was like, well, that's too bad. You know, I felt a little bit, you know, a little bit put out because I was being discriminated against, obviously. Um, but that's impossible today. They say if you're Caucasian, you, you cannot be discriminated against because you're a colonialist and um, you have to be repaid back for what your ancestors did. First of all, Canada is a colony itself. So if you want to repay back somebody, go and complain to the UK, go complain to the Queen, right? I mean, Canada itself is a colony. We're only 160 some years old as a country. And so myself, I am obviously an immigrant. My ancestors came from France and Ireland, suffering persecution. They came here, they intermingled with the Eastern Canadian Mi'kmaq uh, Indian tribes and so on and so forth. And we adopted to the Canadian uh, society. But that uh, doesn't mean anything to this new state-sponsored racism that is being taught and promoted and is fueling uh, extreme hate towards anybody um, that is uh, Caucasian. So it's very, very unfortunate. But I'll put the link in. Sorry for going on so long. I'm going to put the link. Richard Gannon explains it a lot better than I can. It is a 20 minute long video. He has other videos that I've watched, which I don't agree 100% with because he's talking about psychology and narcissistic behavior. And I think it's more general um, human behavior, whereas he makes these na very narrow categories. So we differ a little bit. But on this particular video, I think he's nailing it quite closely on a lot of the points that he's making. And so I'll, I'll put a link to it. As I said, it's a 20 minute video. You can double speed it to uh, uh, 10 minutes and you can still get through it quickly. And I would do recommend uh, subscribing. He has a number of channels on YouTube. I do recommend um, uh, a lot of his material is very uh, well done. He's a very sharp guy. So I hope it's helpful for you. And I hope it's something that you can be aware of, that this is something that we cannot fight 
at the government level because the government has been taken over by globalist influences. We cannot fight it at the municipal level because the municipal level has been taken over by government influences. The only way we can uh, combat this is on an individual level by educating ourselves and if we have children by homeschooling our children and protecting them from the indoctrination of woke ideology, which is an, uh, an ideology of hatred and it's an ideology of destabilization of anything to do with family values, anything to do with conservative, to, to, to be a part of the public discourse, to be a part of the public sector, you must uh, sign on to woke ideology and support those anti-God uh, views, anti-Christian views that are promoted uh, by the government. And so that's unfortunate, but we've already been uh, in that situation for quite some time. And um, there is no political solution to it at this point because the political uh, uh, society has been captured uh, within Canada. So it's uh, up to the individual to educate themselves, protect themselves, and um, just find a way to share peace and compassion with everybody. Um, there's people that um, I cannot communicate with. I have to just block them because um, they are so filled with hatred uh, that there is no having a conversation with them. All they keep repeating the same thing over and over again. They just say, you're racist. You're... They, they see what you look like. As soon as they see what you look like, they say, you're racist, you're a colonialist, you're this, you're that, you're that. And so there is no open channel of communication because they've been indoctrinated so effectively that uh, they are unable to think in any other way, which is unfortunate. So as I said, Richard Gannon, please check out his video. I think it's uh, very much worth your while. It'll open up your eyes to what's going on in the world today. I think the video is about a year old, but it's still very relevant. So thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. I love you very much. God loves you more than I do. And uh, I hope you're doing well. Get some fresh air and uh, stay healthy and strong, okay? God bless you. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.